This is my first YouTube video under extreme pressure and vice and request from all, all the students community at large. And I'm going to teach you a topic on transpiration, one of CBSE's class 10 science topics in biology. Uh, this is transpiration. Now, first of all, what is transpiration? A transpiration is the process of getting rid of excess water from the plants in the form of water vapor through specialized openings present on different parts of the plant body. There are four different types of transpiration. First is stomatal transpiration. Stomatal transpiration. Number two is cuticular transpiration. Number three is lenticular transpiration. Number four, foliar transpiration. Foliar transpiration. Now, stomata refers to submicroscopic openings present in the leaf surfaces. And loss of water in the form of water vapor through the specialized openings is called a stomatal transpiration. Next we come to cuticular transpiration. Cuticle refers to an additional layer of protection on the epidermal layer of the plants. Loss of water in the form of water vapor through this layer is called as cuticular transpiration. Lenticels refers to some microscopic openings. They, they are present in the root hairs or in the bark of tall trees. Loss of Water in the form of water vapor through these specialized openings is called as lenticular transpiration. And loss of water in the form of water vapor through the plant, general plant body surface is referred to as foliar transpiration. So we come to know the different types of transpiration and the <coughs> meaning of the word transpiration. Now the next thing is, uh, there are certain chemicals that are being found out by scientists to check the effects of transpiration. So we call them as anti-transpirants. Anti-transpirants. Anti-transpirants is <coughs> silicon emulsion gels. Silicon emulsion gels. Number two. PAP, benzene amino purine, benzene amino purine. Number three is ABA, abscisic acid, abscisic acid. So these are examples of antitranspirants that are applied to plants. Why we need to use antitranspirants? We need to use antitranspirants to practice the phenomenon of why antitranspirants are used. Antitranspirants are used. Transpirants are used. They are used to practice ornamental horticulture. Ornamental horticulture. Number B, ornamental horticulture means those who have big lawns and big uh, walking place in front of their uh, houses and bungalows and so on. There are beautiful trees over there, flower trees and all, all the beautiful types of cactus and so on. And there you use anti-transparents to make them look afresh for all the 365 days a year. That is ornamental horticulture. <coughs> for, uh, they are used in fruits and vegetable business also. Why? Because the vegetable sellers as well as the fruit market of the fruit sellers, they wish that the materials would look fresh till it reaches the end point that is the consumers. So they use anti-transparents on top of them. These are the uses of anti-transparents. Now, there are certain factors. Uh, there are certain factors which factors affecting transpiration affecting transpiration. One is obviously 
one is obviously the <coughs> humidity of the air humidity of the air the more the humidity more the humidity less is the rate of transpiration so they are inversely proportional less is the rate of transpiration Next is the temperature prevailing around. Temperature at higher temperature, you, you have greater amount of transpiration. When there is extreme form of transpiration, that means the amount of water that is used up by the plant is less than that of the water lost by the plant. It leads to a phenomenon called as wilting. Right now, this wilting phenomenon has got two parts, one is called as permanent wilting and the other is temporary wilting, temporary wilting. Now addition of water to some extent may bring back or replenish the plant back to its normal position that is called as temporary wilting and permanent wilting is you cannot bring that plant back to its normal position now, it is dead. It has been declared dead. No amount of water, addition of water and minerals can bring it back into its normal state. So, wilting occurs as a result of temperature. Number three is availability of water. Availab availability of water. The more the water that is available to the plants, the greater is the rate of transpiration. So, the tropical plants, the plants that grow by your house, by the side of your houses, by the plants that are found around, they can transpire more because they absorb water more from the soil and if the amount of water is controlled for them, obviously the rate of transpiration is controlled. That is, during summer months we perspire a lot. Why do we perspire a lot? Because we consume a lot of water and that is why the excess water continuously goes out in the form of salts, they go out in the form of water vapor through the process of respiration and some water is also exuded in the form of urine from our body. So similarly the availability of water. Next is the root shoot ratio, root shoot ratio. Uh, that means greater the roots, the longer the roots, the more penetrating is the roots, the greater amount of water that is available to the plants and the greater amount of water that is available to the plants, the plant loses that much amount of water in the form of water vapor. So uh, this is my first video for you. Uh, you. You can like, share and comment this as much as you like to enhance my boost and capabilities. Thank you. Bye bye.